For years, Linux has carried a reputation that is both powerful and confusing at the same time. Some people call it the fastest operating system ever created, while others claim that modern Linux has become bloated and slow compared to its earlier days. The truth is far more interesting, because Linux performance is not a single story, it's a spectrum. When we talk about the fastest Linux performance revealed, we're not just talking about raw benchmarks or numbers on a chart. We're talking about how Linux can be shaped, tuned, and optimized to deliver performance levels that most users never experience. This is the story of how Linux can be unbelievably fast, why it can outperform other operating systems, and what really determines speed in the Linux world. To understand Linux performance, you first need to understand its modular nature. Unlike closed operating systems that lock you into one kernel, one desktop, and one workflow, Linux is built from interchangeable components. The kernel, the init system, the desktop environment, the window manager, the file system, the drivers, and even the scheduler can all be changed or tuned. This flexibility is the secret behind Linux's speed. The fastest Linux systems are not fast by accident. They are fast by design. At the core of everything is the Linux kernel. The kernel is responsible for managing CPU time, memory, storage, and hardware access. Over decades of development, the Linux kernel has become incredibly efficient, especially on modern hardware. Advanced scheduling algorithms ensure that CPU resources are distributed intelligently, reducing latency and improving responsiveness. Memory management techniques like catching, swapping, and compression allow Linux to make better use of available RAM. On systems with limited resources, this efficiency can mean the difference between a usable machine and an unusable one. On high-end systems, it translates into blistering speed and smooth multitasking. At the core of everything is the Linux kernel. The kernel is responsible for managing CPU time, memory, storage, and hardware access. Over decades of development, the Linux kernel has become incredibly efficient, especially on modern hardware. Advanced scheduling algorithms ensure that CPU resources are distributed intelligently, reducing latency and improving responsiveness. Memory management techniques like catching, swapping, and compression allow Linux to make better use of available RAM. On systems with limited resources, this efficiency can mean the difference between a usable machine and an unusable one. On high-end systems, it translates into blistering speed and smooth multitasking. But the kernel alone doesn't tell the whole story. What runs on top of the kernel matters just as much. This is where Linux truly separates itself from other operating systems. A minimal Linux setup, running only essential services, and a lightweight window manager can boot in seconds, consume almost no memory, and feel instant in everyday use. There are Linux setups that idle at under 200 megabytes of RAM, something that feels almost impossible in the modern computing world. When you strip away unnecessary background processes, telemetry, and heavyweight services, Linux reveals its true performance potential. Desktop environments play a massive role in perceived speed. A heavy desktop with complex animations, background services, and integrated features can feel slower, even on powerful hardware. On the other hand, lightweight desktops like LXQT or window managers like i3, Openbox, or DWM can make even old hardware feel new again. The fastest Linux experiences often come from setups that prioritize simplicity and efficiency over visual effects. This doesn't mean Linux has to look outdated. It means performance-first design choices can make the system feel snappy and responsive. Boot time is another area where Linux can absolutely dominate. With modern init systems and optimized service loading, Linux can boot from power on to usable desktop in a matter of seconds. By disabling unnecessary services and using parallel startup processes, Linux minimizes wasted time during boot. On systems with solid state drives, uh, this speed becomes even more noticeable. The moment you press the power button, Linux is ready to work and that immediate availability contributes heavily to the feeling of speed. Storage performance is another hidden strength of Linux. With support for multiple advanced file systems like ixt4, xfs, b, t, rfs, and zfs, Linux allows users to choose the file system that best fits their performance needs. Some file systems excel at handling large files, others at small files, and some offer advanced features like snapshots and compression with minimal performance overhead. Combined with efficient I.O. scheduling, Linux can handle disk operations faster and more predictably than many other systems. This is especially noticeable in tasks like compiling code, transferring large files, or working with data. Networking performance is another area where Linux shines. 
Linux servers power most of the internet for a reason. The network stack is highly optimized, scalable, and capable of handling massive workloads with minimal overhead. On desktop systems, this translates into faster downloads, lower latency, and better performance in network-intensive tasks. Whether you're streaming, gaming, or working with cloud services, Linux's networking efficiency plays a quiet but important role in overall system speed. One of the most overlooked aspects of Linux performance is how it handles background processes. Many operating systems run a long list of services that the user never asked for and may never use. Linux gives users full control over what runs in the background. If you don't need a service, you can disable it. If you want a system that does one thing and does it extremely fast, Linux allows you to build exactly that. This level of control is why Linux is often used in embedded systems, supercomputers, and high-performance computing clusters. The same principles that make Linux powerful at scale also make it incredibly fast on personal machines. Graphics performance has historically been a mixed area for Linux, but recent years have seen massive improvements. With modern drivers Wayland support and optimized compositors, Linux can deliver smooth animations, low input latency, and excellent gaming performance. In many cases, Linux now matches or even exceeds other operating systems and gaming benchmarks, especially when paired with modern hardware and optimized drivers. The key, again, is choice. Users can choose lightweight compositors for maximum performance or more feature-rich ones if they want visual polish. Another factor that reveals the fastest Linux performance is workload-specific optimization. Linux allows tuning for specific tasks in ways that other operating systems simply don't. For developers, Linux can be optimized for faster compilation times, efficient container workloads, and rapid virtual. For content creators, Linux can be tuned for video rendering, audio processing, and color accuracy. For gamers, Linux can be optimized for low latency and high frame rates. This ability to shape the system around the user's needs is why Linux feels faster when properly configured. Minimal Linux distributions showcase this speed better than anything else. When you install a minimal system and add only what you need, the result is a machine that feels immediate and responsive. Applications launch instantly. Switching between tasks feels effortless, and the system never seems to slow down over time. This is a stark contrast to systems that gradually degrade as more software and background processes accumulate. Linux's modular nature allows users to maintain performance long-term instead of constantly fighting against system bloat. Even on older hardware, Linux can reveal surprising performance. Machines that struggle with modern operating systems can be revived with a lightweight Linux setup. This is not just about nostalgia or saving old computers. It's about efficiency. Linux proves that good performance doesn't always require powerful hardware. With the right configuration, Linux can extract maximum value from limited resources, extending the usable life of machines that would otherwise be discarded. Security also plays an indirect role in performance. Linux's permission model and architecture reduce the need for heavy, constantly running antivirus software. Fewer background security processes mean more resources are available for actual work. This doesn't mean Linux is magically immune to threats, but its design allows for strong security with minimal performance impact. This efficiency again contributes to the overall feeling of speed. The fastest Linux performance is often invisible in benchmarks, but obvious in daily use. It's the lack of stutter when switching windows. It's the instant response when you click an application. It's the ability to run multiple heavy tasks without the system becoming unresponsive. It's the confidence that the system is working for you, not against you. These qualities are hard to quantify, but easy to feel. Another important point is that Linux performance scales extremely well. As hardware gets faster, Linux can take full advantage of additional cores, more memory, and faster storage. On high-end systems, Linux feels effortlessly powerful. On low-end systems, it feels surprisingly capable. This wide performance range is one of Linux's greatest strengths and one of the reasons it dominates environments where performance truly matters. When people finally experience a well-optimized Linux system, it often changes their perception of computing entirely. Tasks that once felt slow or frustrating suddenly feel smooth and efficient. The system feels responsive in a way that is hard to describe until you experience it yourself. This is why so many users, once they discover optimized Linux performance, never want to go back. The truth revealed is simple but powerful. Linux is not automatically fast just because it's Linux. It becomes fast when you understand it, configure it, and shape it to your needs. And when you do, the performance you get is on another level entirely. Linux is not just an operating system. It's a performance toolkit. Whether you want a lightning-fast desktop, 
a powerful workstation, or a rock-solid server. Linux gives you the tools to make it happen. In the end, the fastest Linux performance is not about chasing numbers or proving superiority. It's about control, efficiency, and freedom. It's about having a system that respects your hardware, your time, and your workflow. And once that performance is revealed, once you feel how fast Linux can truly be, it becomes very hard to accept anything less.